Yes, good evening. Welcome again to my channel. I uh, appreciate the time taking take, taking time out to basically visit my channel. Thank you very much for those who subscribe to my channel. It's much appreciated. I'm new to all this, so please bear with me. Um, I'm just using my phone and the lighting, so I'm not I'm not professional. I'm just a layman. Okay. Um, I did uh, briefly up promised I was going to do a video about a tale of two Harley Bentons. Um, SC 552 um, unfortunately um, <laughs> the camera's at the wrong angle I totally messed it up my apologies so I'm gonna start again okay okay now briefly I want to talk about two identical Harley Bentons which I ordered from Toman SC 552 now first of all I'll start with this one one of my ambitions was always to get a flamed um, maple cap decorative Gibson Les Paul um, but the prices you will know the prices of a, uh, a second hand or brand new Gibson Les Paul with a figure and uh, a maple top they they can prove very expensive um, I couldn't afford it so I literally looked on the Toman website looked on various kind of YouTube channels out there and it had really good reports and reviews about this particular guitar um, particularly the specs um, if you want to find out exactly the specs you can always go on the Toman website and look this up it's called the um, HB which stands for Harley Benton SC I means single cut 552 this is the, the kind of the latest one they bought out um, this is the it has got the Roswell pickups it's got the um, Tesla Opus 1 pickups in the neck as well as the bridge now I ordered um, I wanted to save a bit of money so what I did I ordered a B stock a B stock is like something which perhaps had a slight flaw with it or somebody sent it back and they literally advertise it for a slight discount price so what that's what i did when it came back um i wanted to to do an unboxing of that particular of this particular guitar um but my enthusiasm got the better of me and i just opened the box i just wanted to see what it's like um as you can see it's a beautiful um triple a flamed maple cap top on this guitar as you can see excuse the ring lighting absolutely stunning it has binding on the outside of the top it's got speed knobs two volumes and two tones um, standard bridge freeway selector pickup it's actually got binding on the neck as you can see it's got trapezoid built in um, on the fretboard and it's got um, Cluson style machine heads with a slight kind of off greeny color I was kind of quite impressed and obviously it comes with stainless steel um, frets so it's a mahogany body I love that scoop by the way so you get to the upper frets on it it's quite comfortable quite a stunning well equipped well made guitar um, 
I looked very careful. I looked at it very carefully. Don't forget, I was, you know, when you do an unboxing, it, it's it's like um, having a sort of a, a, a present, and you can't wait to get it opened. You know, my excitement got the better of me, so I kind of um, looked at it, gave it once over. I thought this is fine, and in the next course of a couple of days, I stretched the strings. And start to play a bit try to see if I can bond with it so first thing what I tend to do is um, what's most important is how the guitar feels tone can always it's a subjective thing but with the at the half decent amp and various pedals you can manipulate the sound you want without spending too much money because I've got a, a, a classic uh, an old classic 30 PV amp and I've got a few pedals um, very basic pedal board with a chromatic tuner a screaming blues pedal a graphic equalizer a mower um, octave divider um, I've got a tube amp modular on it made by Behringer and a, a super uh, century delay pedal that's it really um, so anyway come back to the story after a couple of days of playing the guitar, I noticed on the headstock, um, let me just show it to you. Hopefully it will come out. Uh, right, can you see that? It's a crack running down from the, from the actual nut all the way down. It's not just there, but if you turn on the other side of the guitar, it's even worse. Can imagine my horror when I saw that I couldn't believe it and um, these things are normally obviously when you order especially in Europe or England if you order a, a Harley Benton it comes from Germany in Toman, Toman, um, in Germany from Toman directly shipped it takes about three days to a week to come to from from Germany to England um, it comes with normally two boxes it's um, and it's got a sort of Q, QC code, like an inspection on it to say it's been checked before it left the factory. Um, I couldn't believe that somebody actually checked this guitar and said it was fit for purpose. Um, obviously, I contacted Toman and I said, look, I'm disappointed. How could you send out a guitar with a major flaw? You know, it was nothing, it's not a blemish, it, it's a structural def, um, kind of a, a structural damage with the guitar on the neck. And to say it was fit for purpose, you know, I was livid to tell the truth. Um, they was very apologetic and they told me not to worry, these things can happen. Um, they asked me to take a picture of the boxes came in to make sure there was no damage which it wasn't um, and the pictures of the crack on, on both sides of the neck which I did and after I've done that they said look you know we'll send you out another B stock within a week <laughs> I thought oh gosh um, having seen this uh, I was kind of um, a bit apprehensive you know what will come back they said look if, the, if we, we send out the, the, the second guitar and it's got a flaw on it or, or damage, send them both back to Toman and we'll do an investigation and an inspection on the guitars and we'll take it from there. So within less than a week, they sent out a replacement. Now this was supposed to be a B stock it's slightly different. It's supposed to be the same. It's got a different flame configuration. It's got more movement on this, as you can see. It's not as decorative as the first one. And obviously, I literally went to town with a microscope on this guitar to check everything. Um, it was flawless. Um, I had to do a slight... Um, adjustment on the truss rod I wanted the neck almost flat so that's what I prefer and I like the action 
very, very low as possible without choking or buzzing. And this, if this, this is a bee stock, um, I kid you not. Don't take my word for it. I'll, I'll show you the guitar in detail if I can with this camera. I've only got one camera, it's just my phone. The nut, the frets, the pickup rings, the binding, there's not a flaw on this guitar. I had a set of um, locking tuner nuts which I changed because I'm not really keen on that on the on, on the actual tuners they it comes standard with it's got this horrible green color and what really doesn't really match and the and they stick out a bit too much for my liking compare with that it's sort of cream it goes with the binding and the rest of the decor okay and plus it holds tunes a lot better as well now I contacted, you know, they contacted me with an email and said, hope it's fine. And I said, it's fine. I'm happy with the guitar. Um, I was quite really bowled over by the, the quality, the playability, um, the fit and finish was, was perfect. I couldn't, I couldn't find any fault with it. And they said, fine. Um, what do you want to do uh, about the other guitar? They said, the case is closed because obviously you're happy with the, the replacement we send you. Keep it. Do what you want with it okay fine so now I've got two guitars um, to tell the honest truth um, I'm a bit taken with with this with the actual uh, it's actually gorgeous the the flame on this it, it's absolutely stunning looking apart from the the damage headstock I literally went to town playing it bending it um, giving it some stick um, it's no really movement on the guitar and it, it plays okay um, apart from those hideous looking cracks on the side of the neck um, so you know what I do I'm I, I, as a, a living I, I'm a kind of a paint and decorator and obviously uh, you know going to various houses and you see especially old houses you see cracks appear on the wall now, I don't know how deep this cracks goes, but I know from um, people who've had breakages or cracks, what they tend to do is literally take the neck off, break the neck off and literally repair it. And I've been told it makes the guitar neck, the construction of the neck a lot stronger. And I've been told a lot of people said it sounds even better. I don't know how deep this crack goes because obviously I've been, it's not going out of tune not really any movement there so I'm kind of adopting the same kind of mindset if I saw a crack on a wall I will channel it out and repair the crack so what I'm thinking of doing is perhaps having a go first of all because I've got there's nothing to lose so I've got the guitar what I wanted it's just just a spare I could experiment on this I could basically get a standing knife and I'm tend to open it up make a channel and fill it with a, a strong glue on both sides sand it down and try to match the the um say so almost like it's not invisible and see how it goes because it plays okay right so that is the so although um it was a disaster in terms of ordinary guitar from toman and it came back like this um Obviously, Toman is, um, you can buy with confidence, although I suppose these things do happen in life, but how a company deals with it, 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 it speaks volumes and the communication was faultless. Um, they literally went over and beyond what they should have done. Um, the service was excellent, had replacement. And <coughs> the good news is that, you know, I can keep this guitar, so I've got two, you know, um, beautiful guitar as you can see everything is flawless apart from the neck and it plays okay um so well done Tom, Tom, thank you very much indeed um what i'll do i'll 
for example, plug it in. Um, it's going through my uh, PV Classic 30. It's got um, it's on the clean channel with um, a little bit of re re reverb. I'm going to basically I've set up the graphic equalizer to kind of give it a, a boost in the sort of tones what I prefer. But I just basically play it clean first of all, so you can hear. And this is with nothing, no effect pedals, um, a little bit of reverb on the amp, and that's it. Okay. Right. Okay. So if you can sit back, sit, sit the guitar. That's better. That's in the middle position. That's two pickups together. Sorry about that, try again. So it's a net pickup. The bridge pickup. basically add the graph the graphic equalizer to just to kind of boost the tone and give it a bit more depth which which is more pleasing to my ears all subjective you might not like but might prefer the basic clean channel but here goes uh, what I want to do is kind of um, a bit of noodle on it okay so a bit of a, bits and pieces a bit of bending a bit of random kind of I'm gonna start with the the actual rhythm and uh, see what happens see if it goes out of tune or the neck snaps off <laughs> here goes nothing <laughs> Thank you. 
So let's see if it's still in tune. So as you can see, um, it plays, it sounds good. Um, so I will basically try that experiment and uh, I'll get back to see if it, if, if it works or how it turns out, okay? So what I'm going to try to do now, um, now I've basically solved the, the mystery, what you're waiting for to find out the tale of two guitars, that was the, um, that was it. Now I'm just going to basically kind of do a brief um, review um, of this guitar with the one obviously which I changed with the, um, which they sent to me as a replacement for this and just basically just go through a few tones and and give me my opinion how it feels and what I think okay excuse my attire whoops stays out oh that's a bit dangerous um it's a bit cold today and so the thick jumper and the hat on Okay, just make sure it's in tune. Okay, so that's basically I'm going through the uh, PV Classic on in, on the clean channel. With um, I'll start with the um, the graphic on equalizer just to sort of equalize the tones I like um, and just sort of go through what what I think about it. Okay, so I said the only upgrade I've done to this because I like the guitar. I put some locking tuners on it. Okay, um, it's a very light guitar by the way. It's got weight weight relief. So I said you can go on the Toman website and have a look at the specifications because I might get it wrong. But in terms of, um, from a layman's point of view, it's a light guitar. Um, it's, it's, it's literally got weight relief. The pickups, uh, I don't intend on changing them, okay, because they're very good. Um, I said I only changed the actual um, tuners on it, the locking ones. It's standard uh, three-way selector switch two tones and two volumes the potentiometers if i had a look at the back to my pleasant surprise it's all um shielded inside it's got full-size pots on it which is good so the potentiometers start with the neck the volume excuse my amp is a bit old middle Um, on the bridge basically put a bit of um, uh, screaming blues on the neck you can hear a difference I've just actually put it um, the level at sort of 10 o'clock um, the actual bass or the low channel um, halfway through um, the sort of treble the high I've put it at sort of 10 o'clock and again about 10 so it's just mild because I don't like I don't want to master the actual sound of the guitar I want you to hear it at the same time without just to sort of give you an idea without actually taking away the, the total tone of the guitar so you can know how it sounds <laughs>
on by turning it off. Okay, let's do the um, both pickups together. That's the bridge and the, the the bridge and the neck pick up together. Just put a bit of um, the actual, I'm going to put the actual Digitech Screaming Blues pedal on. See the, the, the neck, it doesn't sound muddy at all. If I take off the actual blues pedal off, quite pleased with this guitar as you can see um, it represents tremendous value for money uh, I'm actually loving it um, I've got I have got a Gibson a Les Paul but I couldn't feel justified paying that kind of money for any guitar because I just look at these as tools um, I don't know sort of, I'm not a collector I'm a normal working class guy who love playing the guitar? Um, it's one of my hobbies. But I got the, uh, I think it's a 2018 model. It's called the Worn Cherry. It's a nitro finish. Um, lovely guitar. Um, it hasn't got none of these appointments as the bounded neck trapezoid. It's just got dots inlaid. Um, you know, it's a basic guitar. With all the, it's a bare bones, stripped down version of the Les Paul, Gibson Les Paul. I would like to pit that against this and go into and go into more depth, a review on the build quality of a Gibson Les Paul compared to this Harley Benton SC550. And then literally go through some tones with it. Um, I'll even sort of add a, a backing track to see how it sounds in the mix uh, to give you an idea how it'll sound 
um, both guitars. Really, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to doing that. To just to demonstrate, you, <laughs> you don't spend a lot of money to get a kind of dream guitar. And with this, you can make it your own. Um, for me, uh, the most important thing of a guitar is feel. The feel of the guitar is, is very, very important to me. You know, before I even plug it in, it has to, how's it sound acoustically? How's it been? Because as you can see, it's got lots of stain and stuff like that on it. It, it, it feels and plays wonderful. I know some people don't like the, the neck, but if they don't like this sort of kind of polyurethane type of finish, sand it off. Each to his own. Um, you know, I, 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 it doesn't have a problem with me because I make sure if your hands are dry, it's going to feel sticky on the neck. So my advice to you is, is, is kind of clean your hands thoroughly and moisturise it. And you'd be shocked the difference it makes. Um, so feel is everything. You can get a, you can get a, a decent enough tone with a decent enough amps, and manipulate that to how you want it with certain pedals. But first and foremost, number one is the feel, and the neck is everything. This neck is, I would describe it as a '60s profile neck. But what I do, I'll go into more detail. I'll, go, I'll do a review in depth on the build quality. And stack it up against a Les Paul um, tribute, uh, not a tribute, not tribute. It's a Les Paul um, um, 2018 worn cherry. They also have done it in Bon Burn or something like that, or Bourbon, what they call it. Uh, I've got the cherry one. Um, it's a nice guitar, um, but you know you're talking a guitar which is nearly a thousand pounds. You know, there's some second hand for that sort of money now on reverb. So how does this, would this compare in build quality, appointments? Um, I mean, just the way it looks, it will knock, it will knock the Les Paul off its perch in terms of specification, okay? But let's basically see what happens when I put them together, um, do a proper review um, side by side, and then literally kind of let them basically kind of belt it out together with a backing track, and then you decide which one sounds better, which represents good value. Some people will never get something like this, but I'm not a, a guitar snob. For me, I don't care what's on the headstock. It's how it's made and how it makes me feel. That's most important. So thank you once again. I do apologize for putting up the first uh, the first video of this. It went, it was totally disaster. I got it completely wrong, um, but Hope this one turns out okay. I'll make sure I'll check it first before I post upload this without a doubt. But thanks again for taking the time to spend with me uh, to review this the, the, this, this, this guitar. And if, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because I've got some belters coming up in terms of um, other guitars. What would um, give a PRS and a Gibson and a lot of those Spentic boutique guitars out there are run for their money and some okay thanks again and have a good evening bye for now